Okay, this is a brief video introduction to RefWorks. Uh, start by going to refworks.cornell.edu, sign up for a new account. Um, once you've done that, you can log in with your username and password. And what RefWorks is when you get into it, it's a series of uh, online folders, uh, much like a filing cabinet, and you create these and then you can put citations in them. It's really very easy to use. Um, for example, if you're in the new library catalog, um, you can just, when you have a record, you just go over here, you click on export to RefWorks, and it will fire this up and export into something called the last imported folder. Um, and then you can view that and that will have the record that you're in. Uh, same thing with uh, a database like Web of Science. Um, it will just say send to. Most databases will allow you to do that and this pulls up and there's that one as well. And then finally looking at something like Google Scholar. Google Scholar you want to set your preferences to display the um, export to a bibliographic manager um, and then select RefWorks. And once you've done that, when you do a search, um, all these records will have this import into RefWorks hyperlink and you just click on that and away it goes. So another piece of the puzzle that RefWorks will help you solve is when you need to write up your research, it will allow you to um, create citations and generate a bibliography automatically using the references you've already put into RefWorks. You just install this uh, little plugin called Write and Cite and put your mouse where you want, put the cursor there where you want it to go, uh, click this to launch Write and Cite, and just go down and find the citation that you want, click Cite, and then when you're all done inserting all those, just click on Bibliography, choose the output style you want, say Create Bibliography, and there is your formatted document.